Christina from Studio SE. I want to show you a really fun model that I created that makes use of the Excel Helper APIs. So this is a model that I created for um, a conference and symposium where um, at Studio SE we like to um, play games and so we can record our contestant score in, into um, a leaderboard. So we have a GUI where we record the name, organization, and email. Um, we, the contestant can choose whether or not they want to consent to receiving our promotional emails, and then we'll go ahead and record their score in here. This was originally developed for the BlazePod game um, that we used to play at like the Magic Cyber Symposiums and um, International Encosi Symposiums. Um, so we would have contestants come up, they would tap the blaze pods as fast as they could. I think it was like 20 different lights. Um, and then we would record their time and whoever had the fastest time would win. And we would actually have prizes for like the top three um, scores at the end of the conference. And then we could contact them using their emails that they gave us to let them know um, that they won. This GUI also displays the average score. So you can kind of check how you're doing. Um, compared to the average person and then it also displays the top score so the fastest time. So these all end up getting recorded into an Excel spreadsheet using the Excel Helper API and then we can actually read from that spreadsheet to update the um, entries into an instance table in Cameo. I'll go ahead and show you the Excel spreadsheet. Um, that it records into. Let me go ahead and pull that up. Okay, so here is the Excel spreadsheet. So we have columns for your name, company, email, um, their consent score, um, and then we calculate the highest score and the average. So I will go ahead and run the simulation so you can see how it works. It's pretty simple. It's mostly just this GUI. I'll enter a few different names in. Notice right now we have an average score, nothing's in there, nothing's in the top score right now. We don't have any entrances or entries. Notice here we have an average score, we have one entry in there right now, so our average score is what I just entered, and then that is also our fastest time. Okay, so now that we see, we can see that our average score has been updating that whole time, and our top score is that fastest score. I'll go ahead and stop that. I'll pull up the Excel sheet so you can see that they have updated. So we have those rows here. Um, and then I can go ahead and show you this leaderboard. And let me clear this out. I did not clear that out from before. Um, so we can read from that file and we have those four entries in here. So behind the scenes we have um, a contestant block that has some behaviors underneath it. So the classifier behavior is this state machine. There's two different states in this first state when the state machine becomes active. Um, we're waiting for the contestant. Um, the entry behavior to that is this get highest score that calls upon this get leaderboard activity. Um, so we're using the Excel helper API get cell value. Um, we're reading the top score or the fastest time and then we're also reading the average score and saving those to two value properties that are underneath the contestant block. So we'll go ahead and enter in our contestant information, our name, our score, etc. and then we'll press enter. When we press enter, it creates this entry into the Excel table. So we're reading the values, the value properties from the contestant block, and we're also getting the latest row number um, in that Excel spreadsheet. So we're reading the name, organization, email, consent, and score, and we're setting um, cells. We're using the set cell value command to um, set um, the next row um, in a particular column with those values that we're reading from the contestant block. 
Once we create the entry, we go into the zeroing state in which we're resetting all of the properties underneath the block. Um, so we're basically nulling out um, those value properties that we set. And we go back into waiting for a contestant, in which case we're updating that top score and the average score one more time. Um, I'll go ahead and run it from this diagram, just a little slow, so you can, it's not that exciting, but we can see how it's working. Um, so here I'm just going to enter some properties. Enter in a score. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and press play and we'll run through this. So here we see that um, we updated this top score and the average. Um, we're waiting for this enter command. And then we're um, setting those values in the Excel table, not that exciting. Um, and then we go ahead and zero out those values. So we see that it erased the name and email, um, et cetera, with that. So we're waiting, waiting again for um, that enter command. Um, we can go ahead and read from the leaderboard table. So we'll read it again and we should see that new John Doe appear. So that's a really fun use of the Excel Helper API. It also um, shows how you can go ahead and sync um, an Excel file with Cameo to continuously read and update from that Excel table back into your Cameo systems modeler. Um, hopefully that was informative for you. Um, I love playing with the different APIs. They're super fun, always learning something new with them. Um, and hopefully maybe you can use this on your projects. Thanks for tuning in.